Hi, my name is Carol, and I want to do a little non-yoga video, so we'll see how this is received. Um, I am on day three of my first tray of Invisalign. You might be noticing, or at least I can hear it. <laughs> my tongue doesn't know where to go with certain words, <laughs> so it's a little bit of a list. I'm still getting used to it. So I just wanted to track progress on Invisalign in case you were thinking about it. And my case is a little different than what I've been seeing on YouTube. Um, for example, I did not need any attachments done. So attachments are these little dots that they glue to your teeth that will not be moving. So as my dentist described, it's like pillars um, that are not moving at all while the other teeth shift around it. Apparently all my teeth are moving slightly. <laughs> so <laughs> great, right? Um, so it's a little unique situation there. I did need filing in between my teeth. And I was really nervous about it. I just, I didn't like the thought of it, but no numbing needed. It was super easy, completely painless, and I was absolutely fine. Um, they, my bottom teeth were the main reason why I got Invisalign. You might be noticing my smile like, she's fine. Um, it's not really my top that was the concern. After I did have braces when I was younger for about two years, I had metal braces, uh, my bottom tooth shifted for lack of me wearing my retainer. I'm like, who wears the retainer after braces? <laughs> I did not. So one of my teeth, uh, one tooth shifted and completely turned, and that was a concern. And then also I had a lot of crowding in my bottom. So what's going to happen is it's just going to expand the bottom, which means I also needed a retainer on the top as well to expand those out. So right now on day three, I don't really have a bite down anymore. So for example, when I take the retainers out, <laughs> I just try to connect my back molars together, just bite down my jaw doesn't exist. Um, they don't line up anymore, which is good because it's working, but also it's like, oh, weird. <laughs> Hopefully that'll improve in time, which I know it will. So just some other things that I've noticed. Um, day one and day two were definitely like, oh no, I'm regretting this a little bit because the retainers were very hard to get out. And then also while I was eating, I had to eat really soft foods. So I had eggs and pasta and non bread, for example, for a sandwich. And it was still like really sore. I felt like all my teeth were really, like very loose, very sore. Now I'm on day three and already I had a lot better experience eating breakfast and lunch so far today. So how much time do you have without the retainer in? My dentist suggested 23 hours of the day to have the retainer in, which I've been timing on the Invisalign app. Every time I take them out, I hit the timer and it reminds me to put them back in. That seems to be impossible. Um, <laughs> for just digestion purposes, I need to eat a little bit slower than that because you still have to floss and brush, uh, maybe even use a little bit of mouthwash, and then when your teeth are all clean, stick the retainers back in again. So I was finding that the time it took to brush really well and also eat in about 20 minutes per meal, it was not working out. So it's turning out to be about 30 minutes per meal, so 90 minutes in total out of my day um, without the retainer and I'm calling it good enough. Like <laughs> you gotta make, you know, <laughs> you gotta make your options in life good enough. 
Um, so I would say don't pressure yourself, you know, eat well, don't get indigestion and stomach pain because of this. I really felt like the extra 30 minutes a day was absolutely fine. Um, besides on Invisalign, it actually says, you know, suggests like 20 to 22 for wear time. So I don't know if my dentist was being cautious. I'm not sure. Um, so speaking of getting the retainers out, I found that it's best to just try to use my nails and go side to side, like around the back molars and edge them out. I did have um, a suggestion on one YouTuber. They sell these. I, I never saw these before, um, but basically they're little hooks for retainers or dentures and you do the same. I have not used this yet, but it's nice to know that if they do feel like they're just really stuck and not getting out or my nails are just super short, I actually like to keep my nails really short, that I could use this, but it is kind of kind of pokey, so you know, I don't want to hurt my retainer or puncture my gums either, so I will only use this in desperate, desperate needs. So my routine um, for a meal, just to let you know how it goes, is I set everything up that I'm going to eat on the table. Like I used to watch TV while I eat, not anymore. <laughs> I, I make sure I have all my utensils and everything just ready to go. Then I take my retainers out very gently and in the morning, for breakfast and also dinner. I soak them in warm water with half a tablet of a Retainer Bright Cleaning, which is like this little tab that fizzes in the water. It makes the water blue, but it does not change the color of your retainer at all. And then basically, while I'm eating, the retainers are soaking, and I already hit my app to <laughs> record my time away from my retainers. And then afterwards, I actually go through flossing. I use a water pick, brush my teeth with the Oral-B electric toothbrush, and then just a little swig of mouthwash, and then stick my retainers back in. Um, and then reminder for myself, I always have my cell phone with me to hit pause again on the timer that my Invisalign's out. It's just a way for me to track it. Again, I'm on day three. I don't know if I'm going to stick with timing it that closely um, going forward, but for now it kind of keeps me in check that I'm not distracted and <laughs> clicking on the TV and walking around doing laundry and like, oh, that's right, I have to brush my teeth and put them in. So another surprising thing about Invisalign is what you can and can't drink. So I am a luxurious coffee sipper in the morning, but not anymore for the past three days. Um, you cannot have hot beverages or anything that will stain your teeth, even tea, um, wine, for example. I know some folks has said that you can get away with it if you cool it down a little bit or use a straw, but again, it's only day three, so I'm still being a little cautious with it. I'm just sticking with plain, non-carbonated water. Just checking my little list. Um, I was surprised at how much I actually snacked during the day and didn't realize it. I'm not saying that snacking's bad. I actually really enjoy that kind of grazing method of eating where it's just like a little bit um, throughout the day. But like while I was making my meal, I had to stop myself from like popping grapes in my mouth because you can't bite down with these in. You have to take them out. Or even, you know, pour your coffee. Just try it as an experiment to pour your coffee and not immediately sip it. <laughs> You know, just putting it on the table until the rest of your meal is, is ready to be consumed. It's a, it's a unique experience. Or, like, I'll just be passing by the kitchen. Um, I work from home, and 
like, you know, normally I would just pop a peanut butter cup or have some cheese puffs and not anymore. So it's a more regimented meal schedule than I, I didn't realize it didn't have that kind of regimented meal schedule. Um, that was a little surprise to me, I guess. Uh, but definitely in the first few days, I'm sticking with soft food because my teeth do feel still just a little sore. And they're not loose. Like if I push on my tooth, they, they don't move. But it just has that kind of sense. I, I hope that that makes sense. Like it just feels a little... Like they're not really solid in there, which is the reason why, because they're trying to move. Um, my plan will be 20 weeks. Each tray they suggested for me to wear between 7 and 10 days. So you might have heard just always it's 7 days, and so you can do it like every Sunday night or something. Um, she said that if my tray doesn't go in or out very easily by day seven, just wear them for a couple extra days, which to me makes sense. Uh, I'm not trying to rush this for any reason. I don't have an event that I want my teeth to be perfect for. You know, this is just a dental maintenance thing in my life that I decided to do. So um, basically when I, uh, you know, we'll get to day seven, I'll evaluate, but for right now, just to be a little bit more cautious again, because I'm just starting, I just put my reminder, my calendar for uh, 10 days for tray one and tray two, and then I actually have to go back to the dentist at the end of tray two and get another tooth filed. Um, he couldn't file in between two teeth because they were overlapping each other. And he said he couldn't make a straight cut, which makes sense. So, uh, beyond that, uh, let's see what else is on my list. One more thing is, and if you look at the retainer, I mean, when I looked at the retainer, I, I was completely shocked. I thought that there was going to be a lot of plastic on the roof of my mouth. Um, there's not a lot, but there's enough that your tongue doesn't know where to go for like S sounds or like X sounds. So sassy is hard to say. <laughs> like the tongue's like, where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing here. So it, it was just enough plastic to again, kind of make that little list, but I don't know. I think it's cute. I'm just gonna go with it. It's fine. Um, so instead of uh, exhale, you know, while I'm teaching yoga, I'll have to say in and out. <laughs> because <laughs> it's a lot easier. Uh, but other than that, I all of my teeth are um, contained in the upper and the lower. So I did watch a YouTube video where she said her back molars were not fully covered. Mine are in my trays. So I think the entire tooth, uh, the front, you know, the bottom, and the back are all covered. All the teeth going all the way around. Um, are covered in the plastic. And the plastic seems, you know, it, it's thin, it's comfortable in the mouth, but like you could just tell it, you could break it kind of easily if you like really forced it out or you weren't careful with always putting it back into its little container that it comes with, comes into like a little compact and just put it in there just so they're safe. Um, unless you're soaking them, which again, I do morning and night. So that was a lot of information on Invisalign. <laughs> I'm only on day three. <laughs> Whew. So stick with me in this journey. If you found this helpful or you like a little bit of non-yoga content on my channel, um, please let me know. I do moderate the comments um, because I was getting some like weird comments. So I just decided, you know, internet land's an interesting place to be. So please leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know how um, your Invisalign journey is going, if you try that or if you're thinking about it or any questions. Um, any products that I use, I will detail in the description below. 
Um, for example, like the retainer bright that was suggested, instead of using the cleaning tablets, crystals that came with Invisalign, my dentist told me not to use those. <laughs> I thought that was super odd. So I've been happy using the other cleaner, that's fine. So let me know if you have any questions and take care. My name's Carol.